It is to you tonight that I bring the burden and plight of our people too. I trust this message finds you in good health and high spirits. As you... Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Do not forget to like the video guys and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. So guys, it was rumors that a show of China television was sacked a few days ago and that we in Nigeria started to wonder because what must have shown them because shown is one tip journalist that we love his job. Like see Shewun is being playing with his job that's he does his job good and in the sense that he has this way of him forcing words into politicians mouth to speak out so a video went viral that Shewun said something about Pre uh, uh, President Tinibu he came out it's as if like, he lost it because of course everybody is tired right so this guy came out to speak off his mind call of the president that hey the country is falling do something about it everybody's complaining if them go take and come out to complain if them go take and come out to complain, then trust me, it has like you don't touch everybody. If them go take can come out to complain about Nigeria, then I tell you that it is over for we the common person. Because see, them go take and the federal government have been in court all this while, and that these guys have been going back and front. And now he has even said that hey, I want to sell out the refinery to nnpc come and buy it I, I i don't want to do it again because these guys are frustrating him giving license no they keep stressing them go in the sense them go there has not said that hey oh, the refinery i don't even want it come and take it man if them go take and complain of the current economy in nigeria then trust me the protest is a must protest is the only option we have left in the country if you are not going to protest somebody will do it at this point in time that's only what is trend anyway Let's watch uh, see the video that led to the sack of Shimu. After that, then we'll get to continue from there. If you have come this far, do it to subscribe to our channel, guys, and drop a comment up there to reach out all your comments. Let's watch the video together and see. Here is my final word tonight. Mr. President, Senator Bala Tunubu, it is to you tonight that I bring the burden and plight of our people too. I trust this message finds you in good health and high spirits. As you continue to navigate the intricate responsibilities that come with the esteemed position you hold, it is with a heavy heart and deep concern that I pass this message on the current state of our beloved nation, Nigeria. In a time when the heartbeat of our nation is raising with fear and the very fabric of our society is tearing at the seams, we stand at the crossroads. President Tunubu, the nation calls for your undivided attention as we embark on a private visit to France our beloved Nigeria is grappling with unprecedented challenges that demand urgent and decisive action. Kidnapping and abductions are the order of the day. From Lagos to Kaduna, Taraba, and violent and criminal activities have pervaded our land. Even in the heart of our nation's capital, the audacity of kidnappers has become a sinister reality, striking fear into the hearts of our people. Our citizens are living in constant fear, unsure of their safety and the safety of their loved ones. This is not the Nigeria we dream of, not the renewed hope that was promised. We applaud the gallantry of our security operatives, but indeed more work still needs to be done to keep the people safe. Efforts are being made, but it appears they are not far enough. What has become the strategies of, of the strategies of state policing and community policing that has been talked about several years? And the huge white papers and advisory notes on how to tackle insecurity in Nigeria, where are they? President Tinubu, as a pro-democracy agitator, isn't it the right time to restructure Nigeria for it to work properly? Is the Nigeria you and your friends fought for? Is it the Nigeria that you're talking about? The removal of subsidies has unleashed a tidal wave of economic downturn, leaving families struggling to make ends meet. Prices of commodities have gone through the roof. The biting effects have felt across the nation, and the loss of confidence in the government is palpable. This is not a time for complacency. It is a time for bold and wavering leadership, Mr. President. I think it is about time to get the nation's eggheads in one room and find a lasting cure to our ailing economy. As you stand on foreign soil, Mr. President, remember the weight of your, on your, of your responsibility to the Nigerian people. Our citizens, including those who voted for you, are losing faith in the government. The implications of the loss of confidence are far-reaching. And as a leader, you cannot afford to look away. Investors are fleeing the nation like never before. 
economic potential of Nigeria is being squandered and the consequences will be fed for generations. We urge you, Mr. President, to take immediate measures to create an environment that attracts and retains investment. The clock is ticking and our economic future is at stake. Mr. President, the time to act is now. Swift and decisive measures are needed to curb the escalating insecurity and evade the economy burden on citizens and restore the confidence in the government. This is not only a call to fulfill campaign promises, but a plea for the preservation of our great nation. Mr. President, our regional leadership is hanging in the balance. Some members of ECOWAS are signaling exit, and Nigeria's influence is under threat. It is time to reassert your leadership. Strengthen diplomatic ties and secure our place in the Committee of Nations. As journalists, we will not shy away from probing, inspiring, and holding leaders accountable. President Tunubu, live up to the expectations of your calling and the mandate upon which your office stands. The Nigerian people deserve more. They deserve a leader who acts with urgency, integrity, and unwavering commitment to the well being of our great nation. The challenges may be daunting, but if you are resolute, and carry the people along, we can all together overcome. The giant of Africa must now rise and take its rightful place in the Committee of Nations and unless its potentials for the Nigerian people to smile again. God bless this Federal Republic of Nigeria. And this is my final word tonight. If not that this government doesn't want the truth, if not that these guys are running away from the truth, what did Sheung say that is this bad here that they went around to sack him from his job? Let's tell ourselves the truth. The country is falling and the young man has to speak out. He said, see, he said what every Nigerian would want to say. Let's stop sugarcoating this thing. Nothing is working well in Nigeria. See, the earlier we accept the fact that we need this protest to, to, to see, revive our country back, the better for us. We cannot just fold our hands and what these politicians doing what they want. Uh, see, as a, a politician in Plateau State, what a car, what over 60 million era for a child that finished secondary school. A child that just finished secondary school. So I said, okay, a child done so because you want to give her a gift. Then you went out to buy a car, what over 60 million era for a child that is not even up to 17 years that does not even have the right to own a driving license. So what are we going? What is going on in this country? And she came out to speak out and you, you, you guys went there to take him off of his job. Protest is coming, my dear. Protest is coming. Whether you like it or not, to protest is coming. See, these guys are boiling already that we don't want protest, we don't want protest. But at this point in time, the way this country is going, protest is a must. You cannot take that away from Nigerians. We are coming out to protest. If you won't do, somebody will do it. Protest is a must because this country is falling. If Dangote, I said it the first time, if Dangote can come out to complain, since I know Dangote in my life, I've not seen him involved in politics before. Dengotia has never speaking about the economy of Nigeria. Dengotia has never for once spoken about the, the economy of Nigeria. He will just stay quiet and be doing his business quietly. But more as he touch him, as he touch Dengote, she will have started hearing his voice at now. If this thing can affect Dengote, the, the richest man in Africa, like the black richest man in Africa, if this thing can affect Dengote, then who are you that you not affect? Anyway guys, drop your comment guys, do not forget to please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Drop your comment and share the video to your friends. See you in my next